everyone and welcome to a project log. This is a costume specific progress log. So I'm basically going to be taking you through the entire process of making a costume. There won't be any footage of me sewing in this video, it's just me talking in between steps, almost like a video version of a blog post. I haven't filmed one of these in almost a year, which sucks because they're actually my favorite video to make and film, so I'm really excited to be sharing this one with you today, and this is part one of two, so there will be another one of these up next week. In this video I'm going to be focusing on the costume that I'm wearing, which is inspired by something Civil War in Downton Abbey. It's funny because when I first saw this costume when I was watching the show I wasn't that enamored with it, but the other day I was browsing on Tumblr and I scrolled past a photo set of Sybil wearing it and I just fell in love and I had such a strong desire to make something similar to it. So I raided my stash and I managed to find a whole bunch of chiffon and brocade and matching beads that would work for this project. They're not in the right color and I chose to use beads and sequins to add texture to the bodice instead of embroidery. So it isn't an accurate recreation by any means. I kind of put my own little spin on it but it's very heavily inspired by it. Once I had all the materials together, I quite literally dropped what I was doing and got straight to work on this drafting and draping pattern and made it my primary focus for a week. Weirdly enough, for this project, I didn't do any research. I just used a few photos of Sybil wearing it as a reference. I was so inspired by that specific design, I didn't really want to cloud my vision and my excitement with any other references and researching the history behind it and potentially becoming conflicted when it came to design. So I just dove right in with that as my inspiration. And this is what came out of it. I really hope you enjoy watching this as much as I enjoyed filming it and that you like the finished costume and you like seeing how it all came together. So I'm just going to get right into the footage and thank you so much for watching. Alright, so it's time to get started. I've been working on this project for about an hour so far today, just making the mock-up and sleeve pattern and any necessary alterations and now I have this which I draped last night and then I transferred it to paper and added seam allowances and all that good stuff and as I said I have made a mock-up for this so I'm fairly confident that it will fit and then these are the fabrics I'm going to be using I have a gold and peach brocade and then I have a whole bunch of different chiffons these were purchased for a cosplay a few years back and that cosplay is never gonna happen and I thought I would never be able to use these fabrics since I don't reach for iridescent chiffon very often. So I'm so excited to have an idea that incorporates them. And then on top I just have this Fleur de Lis gold trim and this peach Alencon lace. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut out the bodice and the collar. I'm still not sure which fabrics I'm going to use for the sleeves. But I know I'm going to use gold brocade for this with a chiffon overlay. And then the peachy brocade for this. So I can cut both of those out and start sewing them together and see this start to take shape and I'm so excited I can't even put it into words so I'm just going to dive right in. So I've made a bit of progress. I went ahead and cut out the collar. Then I added a sheer overlay of pink netting to dull the sheen a little bit. Then I lined it with muslin and top stitched around the edges that won't be visible. I'm really happy with how that looks so I went ahead and cut out the body of the bodice and ironed the top edge inward by a half inch. And now I'm going to go ahead and sew them together, and I think after doing that I'm going to try and see if I can come up with a beading design for the bodice. I was originally just going to embellish around the flowers, but now I think it might be kind of cool if I do a design at the center, potentially something based off the swirls in this trim, since this trim will be used as a waistband for the bodice. And I also cut out the lining for the bodice, but before sewing that onto the bodice I have to add a couple boning channels. So hopefully I can accomplish all of that in the next little bit, and I'll show you what it looks like after that. So this is what my desk is looking like now. I got the lace portions of the sleeves cut out and this is actually going to go underneath the chiffon. And then once the chiffon is laid over top, I'm going to use this as a template for a sequin design, which I think will look really pretty. I only had a small scrap of this lace, so I had to make each sleeve out of two pieces, but I think that will be fine. And then I went ahead and tea stained the lace. It was originally this bright white. Since all the other fabrics are very warm in color, I thought that looked a little bit stark. So I just gave it a little tea bath and now it's a more neutral beige. So I'm going to go ahead and starch about a quarter of a yard of chiffon and then I'll cut out the overlay for these pieces and that will give me a hand sewing project for tonight. Speaking of hand sewing, I did end up deciding to add a sequin design to the front of the bodice. So unfortunately I won't be able to sew this onto the collar today. Um, I'm going to wait to do that until after this has been embellished since it will be a lot easier to do before the collar is attached. So I'm going to work on this tonight and I'm really hoping to get it completely finished so I can sew the pieces together tomorrow. 
So I think I'm going to cut out these sleeves and then I'm going to sew the boning channels. I'm going to use ribbon for the boning and I've already marked where it's going to go with a pencil. There are a lot more boning channels than I was expecting, but I really want the bodice to be well supported. I'm not aiming for reduction. I just don't want it to droop down or wrinkle. So once that's done, I'm going to go downstairs and get to work on hand sewing. Hopefully I can find something good to watch on TV and spend a solid four or five hours just embellishing the hell out of this thing. I know I said I was going to sew the boning channels into the lining, but I think I'm actually going to go downstairs and start the hand sewing early because I have so much to do. I have these sleeves that I want to embellish, I have the bodice that I want to embellish the front design, and then I also have this trim I can work on if I manage to get those other two things done. This is going to go around the waist and I've just been embellishing it with some sequins and some seed beads. You can see my palette over here. I have some brassy gold sequins, some multicolor ones, and some gold beads, and some multicolor gold beads which are usually there but I guess I used all the ones that I poured out. So. Yeah, I have lots to keep me busy, and I'll update you guys tomorrow or later tonight if I end up coming back upstairs, but I have a feeling there's just going to be a lot of hand sewing today, and that's about it, so we'll see. Hello everyone, so I'd hope to spend today constructing this and maybe starting on the pants, but I think I'm just going to take today and do a whole bunch of hand sewing. I spent ages hand sewing last night, but I still didn't get everything finished. I got one sleeve about three quarters of the way done, but I haven't even started on the other. And then I got this design embellished on the bodice, which I'm really pretty happy with, but I still have to add a scattering of gold sequins around it. And I have another unrelated project that requires a lot of hand sewing too, so I think I might just take a TV day and try and zoom through all of this, and then on the weekend I can do some of the more construction heavy stuff. I'm going to work on this first today, and hopefully I can make enough progress that I can sew it onto the collar, and then I can start doing the beading around the top edge. And if that happens, then I will update you, but I think I'm just going to be working on the sleeves and that scattering of gold sequins that I mentioned. So I got this panel finished. It isn't as elaborate as I'd wanted, and the design isn't super visible, but I'm pretty happy with it considering I wasn't expecting it to look that great. I went ahead and outlined this flirtily, swirly type of design on the center front, and then I outlined that with some peach-colored iridescent sequins. And then I just added seed beads and some smaller sequins into the pattern of the fabric across the center and top edge. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the collar, and then there will be more beading that goes over top of that edge. And I also have to sew the boning channels for the lining and sew the lining in. So that's what I'm going to be up to this morning. The other hand sewing work I got done is on the sleeves. I just went through and covered the lace design with sequins. So the sleeves have this random sort of sequin pattern covering them. I really like how it looks. I think it makes them a little bit more interesting and I'm glad that I took the time to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and hem these this morning and attach trim to the cuffs. And then there will once again be more embellishing to do. So the boning channels are done. They're just made out of ribbon which isn't very sturdy but since I'm using plastic boning it should be fine. I'm going to add the boning to this and then I'm going to sew it onto the bodice with the right sides facing each other and I'm just going to sew across the bottom edge so once turned the right way out that edge will be nice and finished. So that's done and now I'm debating about whether to add the waistband first or to attach it to the collar straight away. I was going to use this lace for the waistband and I even used it as a basis for this sequin design that I did. I think the gold might look a little dirty against the other fabrics I'm using. So I may raid my stash and see if I can find anything, but oh, I'm so annoyed because I spent quite a while, like more than an hour, um, sequining one edge, and I know it's going to take me another like four hours to beat it fully, and I don't really want to move forward with that if I'm not confident it's the right trim to use. So I'm feeling a bit conflicted, and yeah, I might see what else I have. But I planned on using this and I think it's really pretty so I want to use it. So I just went ahead and basted the trim onto the waistline. I actually really like how it looks when it's worn. I think on the table and in photos there's quite a stark contrast. But in person it looks really pretty and I'm actually really happy with it. As I said I just basted the design down with relatively large stitches and a contrasting thread. And those will be removed as I beat it because the beading pattern is going to be so dense that it will secure the trim to the fabric which makes stitching it on beforehand kind of unnecessary. So that's what I've done there and once again I think it's going to be better to hand stitch all the beads on and do all the embellishment work before attaching it to the collar. So unfortunately that won't be happening today either and it might end up just being another hand sewing day. 
but I am going to go ahead and do a little bit of work on the sleeves as well, and at the very least prepare them. So I can do the hand sewing for them today as well, because the work still isn't over. So I went ahead and hemmed the bottom of the sleeves by an inch. I just turned the edge inward twice by around a half inch, so it's nice and finished on the interior. And then I sewed a doubled over band of the same mesh that I used to diffuse the gold brocade on the collar. So that I'll just add a little bit of continuity to these sleeves with the bodice. And it's also just a cute detail. Now I'm going to fussy cut out the lace trim and sew it along here. And the reason I'm cutting it out is because I don't want these bands on either edge to be visible. Actually I might leave the bottom one, but I don't want this top edge to be visible. But this lace is organza based instead of mesh, so that means it's going to fray if I cut it. And I'm going to combat that by covering that edge with sequins, because when in doubt, make it sparkly or something. Uh, so that's my plan for that, and that's what I'm going to do. The trim is sewn on, which means now it's time for another full day of hand sewing. So that's what I'm going to be up to, and I think that's where I'm going to end this video. We're on day three of making this project, and I'm hoping it won't take that many more days to finish, but we'll have to see. I'm pretty happy with the progress so far, and I'm excited to see how it will look when it's all assembled. So definitely stick around if you want to see how this turns out, because there will be another video up on this project very soon. And that's everything. I shall talk to you soon.